So here's Candace Owens once again educating these uh, college professors and these college administrators. She is definitely torturing them, uh, just destroys them in this um, video clip here. Well, we're discussing the very sensitive topic of whether or not white people are discriminated against in education and the workplace. Is this a made up issue in the news or is there a good reason why some people feel this is real? Now, I, I want to introduce uh, Mala Epinobi, who is a conservative podcast host and a public speaker. Uh, Mala, you've been listening to everything that we've been talking about here. I said there may be a third factor here. They don't have the opportunities in some of the schools they're coming from to get prepared and that that has to be addressed, but we can get back to that in a minute. But what do you think about what we're talking about so far? Right, I'll talk to your example that you gave about the Monopoly game and a white person being able to run the track twice over and a black person starting after that. Uh, the solution is not to then pick up the black person and run them around the lap four times. The solution is to fix the game and make that equal, which would be a race neutral future. We should not be looking at race when it comes to college admissions at all. And when it comes to things like affirmative action, if we truly said we cared about minorities, it wouldn't be disproportionately affecting Asian Americans, as Candace said, like it is now. Why do we not care about that minority group? We absolutely care about all minority groups, just like we care about all students. But I think everyone has a significant misunderstanding of these policies. They're comprehensive or holistic in nature. This is one factor among many other factors. And then we say across all those factors, looking at these and taking them in tandem, is this student best prepared? Because it's not just about your intelligence, mm -hmm. that's important, it's also about your drive, about your resilience, about your ability to overcome challenges, and that's what makes you successful. Even with those factors taken into account, Asian students and white students are discriminated against when compared to their black counterparts. How is that the case? And it seems that with affirmative action, we've dictated we care about black students, we care about Hispanic students. These are the minorities who are going to benefit Let's from this, Native and Americans. Asians are not, and Native Americans. But the through line is not necessarily socioeconomic status. It doesn't seem to be resources. It seems to be that these are the minority groups that we feel bad for. We don't feel bad for Asian Americans because they have a culture of high academic standing. They have a culture of drive and of, of facing adversity. We look at black students and Hispanic students and Native American that's students. We are inferior and, and that we is pity what, them. That's what makes my blood boil. I mean, it's just, I am not less than you because you are white. I don't need you to look at me and feel bad for me because of the color of my skin. And that's effectively what you're doing every time you take an application and you say, oh, well, this girl's black, so I kind of feel bad for her. So I'm going to put her at the top of a line. It's just, it's just not necessary. I believe, right, that black Americans are capable of performing in the same capacity as their white peers. You two don't actually believe that. I because actually believe if you that. support affirmative action, you are basically saying that black Americans cannot do it on their own. No, what I'm saying is that there's a history of racism and exclusionary practices. And instead, we're reducing it all, the, all, down, all the way down just to race. And what these admissions practices are actually doing is saying, no, there's a constellation of factors that we're considering in the holistic review of this application. So race from the applications is basically making it about race. You're saying these are the black people, these are the white right. people, these are the Asian people, these are the, Na the Native American people, as you mentioned. But as one of the audience members said, what about people who are of mixed race? You know, I'm of mixed background. What am I supposed to mark on an application? Am I supposed to mark multiple boxes? And plus, mark if you black. are painting people mark as black. an oppressor, if you're white, That's and a then terrible saying thing to that you're Well, it's the truth, because you believe in affirmative action. So I said, mark black. If you're a mixed student, I, I, I'm, in a, I'm an interracial relationship, so I can speak to this. I have a son that's half white, and a son that's half black, and a daughter that's half white and half black. Okay. They're going to mark black because I know that there are people like you at the universities who will say, well, because this person is black, I'm just going to let them in. No, they're going to mark black because they're black. Do you have a... So I don't know about you, but when I am ever filling out an application something and, I, and there's always these boxes of like white or race or, or whatever, you know, black and, and Hispanic, I, I just cringe when I see these because it's just like, why, why is that important? Why does that even matter? It's just, it's so ridiculous because I think they, they do this so then somehow somebody that's, that's a different race is going to get a, a better application. It's just, it, it, it's so, uh, I just never, I don't get it. And Candace Owens, once again, is dismantling these professors who they want to put all these different big words out there and say, well, it's more than just race. And to me, it's like, if somebody applies to an application for a university, do it like the old school way where it was SATs and, and grade point average and all that. And who cares what color their skin is, what their background is. It doesn't really matter. It should just say a box. Are you an, a human being? And that box, you check that off, boom, you're a human being. Maybe they should say a human being or an alien. 
Maybe some people will, will check an alien. I mean, if you want to do it that way. But I think we're all human beings. We're all the same people. But th these colleges are just rife with these crazy ideas that somehow if you're black, you're not going to have, uh, you know, you're going to get better opportunities. And we have, we've had a black president. We have a black female vice president. So nobody can argue that that uh, you can't be become president anymore or you can't become a female and become vice president anymore. It's already happened. And so now we can't use that excuse anymore. It's kind of like the, the guy when he's running the, the mile before the four minute mile. People said four minute mile was impossible. The guy runs a four minute mile and then about 50 people, 50 people after him within the next two or three years runs the four minute mile. So, you know, I mean, at some point people got to say, you know what, let's take the, the skin color out of this and move forward. I like how Candace is dismantling these college professors. She does a good job with it, um, and she does a good job of explaining it to people. And I just don't get it. I, I don't understand why we have to sit there and check off what race you are on these different applications. It makes no sense to me.